My name is Joanne Warner and I'm the head of the Global Resources Team at Colonial First State Investments. The deterioration in the global economic outlook has seen a downgrade in the potential demand for commodities and that's been reflected in both the commodity prices and in the equities. The thing that will turn that around is a return to confidence, but at the moment that's all about the macro. So the markets are going to continue to look to Europe, they're going to look to China and looking to see when we're going to have a return to stability and hopefully to better demand growth for those commodities. That's always the hardest question and there are much smarter and better informed people than I that struggle with that one. But in general, I think that the gold price will probably continue to do well in an environment where governments are printing a lot of money. Um, but in our portfolios, we try to produce something that is as diversified as possible because you never know which is going to be the next hot commodity. So try and own as many as you can where you can find good quality companies to represent them. Australia has become a very high cost place to, to do business in the mining sector. We've seen a lot of wage inflation. Um, the permitting environment is getting more difficult and more and takes longer. And uh, you know the tax incentives are not really there today. So I think that really Australia is losing its competitive edge. Um, there haven't been a lot of exploration discoveries either recently. So that's also making it harder and what we're seeing is that Australian companies are using their expertise and going offshore and we're probably going to see more work being done in Africa and Latin America rather than within Australia itself. The very large companies that have undertaken or failed to undertake effectively mergers and acquisitions in the last few years have been punished for it and they're quite gun shy so I don't think we're going to see any more really large merger and acquisitions for some time perhaps with the exception of the Glencore Extrada one that's currently underway but we will see more consolidation at the very low end of the sector so there will definitely be a place for the explorer that finds a world-class ore body there will be a home for that and particularly in the gold sector valuations are highest for the companies that are the high growth intermediate producers. So they've got the paper that they can use to make those acquisitions and, and have them be accretive.